This is the eighth generation Rolls-Royce Phantom. It's the new Rolls-Royce flagship, which means it's the pinnacle of luxury on wheels. Now it comes 14 years after the last Phantom, and a lot of that time was spent developing, honing and fettling the world's best car to make it even better. The Phantom still looks majestic despite a few modern elements that have been introduced in the design. The signature Parthenon grille doesn't sit quite as proudly on the nose as before and is now flush with the body. All the body panels are new, but the untrained eye will have trouble telling the new Phantom apart from the previous model. Rolls-Royce hasn't deviated from the previous car's styling intentionally because owners just loved the way the Phantom 7 looked. The Phantom's overall roll presence hasn't diminished and it looks as stately and unabashedly ostentatious as ever. Now the earlier Phantom, it had auto door closing on the rear doors, but in the new one, it pampers the driver as well. And this one automatically closes too. I could get used to this. You can spend the whole day inside a Phantom just soaking up the luxury oozing out of every pore. There's richness in every small detail, right from the deep pile carpets, the exquisitely stitched leather trim, fine grain wood to the soft leather seats with feather filled headdress. Now, an absolutely brilliant piece of design in the new Phantom is this what Rolls Royce calls the gallery. Now, it is basically a gallery because under this long piece of glass which sits across the dashboard, you can actually have artwork behind it. So Rolls-Royce says in about 18 months to two years from now, they are actually going to give you this piece where you can have your favorite artist, you can commission your favorite artist to create a work of art for you. And this in itself is a work of art. In fact, the whole car is a work of art, even what's below the regal looking body. Underpinning the Phantom is an all new aluminium chassis that is largely responsible for the superlative refinement and ride quality, two things that define a Rolls Royce. The silent cabin is the perfect place for you to calmly think about your next merger or big takeover. Sitting at the back, you have your own set of controls that operate everything. It just takes a simple press of a button for the table and screen to glide out. Well, I'm in the back seat of the new Phantom, which is where most owners will spend their time. In fact, in India, about 100% of owners prefer to be in the back seat. And can you blame them? It's really fit for a king. Everything you touch over here, top quality, oozing with luxury. Legroom, absolutely fantastic. This is the short wheelbase version and I can sit with my legs crossed. But what's really amazing is how quiet this car is. It's eerily silent. You could probably even hear an ant cough. It's an incredible experience being whisked away in a car that just effortlessly glides forward like it's on a cushion of air. But the highlight of the interior of the Phantom is this starlight roof, which is made up of over a thousand tiny lights. It's like having your own Milky Way, and it certainly leaves me starry-eyed. While the back seat is where most Phantom owners will spend their time, behind the wheel is also a special place to be. Now, this is a big car. It's more than 5.7 meters long, it weighs two and a half tons, but surprisingly, it's quite easy to drive. In fact, it's effortless to drive. The steering, it isn't exactly bristling with feel, but it's light. And the way this car eases itself into corners, it's all about low pulse rate travel that makes it so special. The Phantom gets four-wheel steering or rear wheels that steer in the opposite direction by three degrees to make maneuvering for you and your chauffeur that much easier. The new Phantom, it gets heads-up display for the first time and it's standard. 
But to be honest, what I like to see outside the windscreen is the spirit of ecstasy. That's such a special sight. Behind the spirit of ecstasy is a long hood, which true to Rolls-Royce tradition, houses a massive, silky smooth and unstressed power plant. And in case you're wondering, Rolls-Royce will never offer a diesel. Like the previous car, this Phantom gets a 6.75 litre V12, but it's a new engine and this time it's turbocharged. So the headline figure is 900 Newton meters of torque. But it's not just the figure, it's just the velvety way all that torque and power is delivered. This car is all about linearity. It's the way it just wafts you to speed without even knowing it. So should you buy the new Phantom? That's a difficult question to answer, especially if the price is going to start from 8 crores on the road, rising to as much as 10 crores for a car with a decent amount of customization. Well, the way to view it is not as an automobile, but as a work of art. And that's when the Phantom might just start making sense. But you first have to be a billionaire.